got 99 problems but shaping ain't one because I introduced him to some shaping crew. She worked with my sister. We're gonna be so proud when she goes through the, the finish line. We're supporting my brother, fulfilling his dreams. Dr. Lucy, slay the day. We have your rose. It's super important to have queer inclusion, taking part in sports and have being represented. We're supporting our uh, our friends. We think she's a superwoman. Brilliant. And they're there now. It's quite amazing. You have to put it in for the supporters running around to the whole course trying to keep up with them. We've done about five stops now, so we feel like we've run the marathon ourselves. It's the crowds that keeps you going. Especially when you get to, to, to close to the end. It's over. Certainly that was a determined and well judged surge at this point from Kibruto. Can he maintain it? He's the only one who really knows that, really knows what he has left in his legs at this point. And that was smart, just a quick glance over his shoulder. Not enough really for anyone to pick up behind as a sign of weakness, but enough to give him the information that he needs that he has in fact built up quite a substantial gap up that injury climb out of the underpass. But behind him, Kevin Selassie just looking and uh, realising that Basiradi is tucking into the, uh, to his heels, if you like. Uh, that says there, uh, a bit further back, telling he's to the kick. He's suddenly, he's getting close to this group and then all of a sudden it just all broke up. His kick up, kicked on and decided that was the point at which he wanted to move. They've just been hanging on to each other too much, really. And so he looks as though he's beginning to head for what would be a great victory for him. Third, a bronze medal at the World Championships in those incredibly difficult conditions in Doha in 2019. But here in London, what a win this would be for him. His birthday was a couple of weeks ago. He chased this great hero, Elliot Kipchoge, home in Tokyo earlier on in the year when he ran his personal best. He was a long way, he was quite a way behind Kipchoge on that occasion, but goodness me, he's looked so strong here. And away he goes. He has, and he has run the fast times. He's run that 2.03.13 from Tokyo, second fastest in the world so far this year, and I think will still be so at the end of this race here today. Uh, well, actually, probably without a doubt now, and just trying to, to get a glimpse back down the road to that intriguing battle between uh, Asha Abdi uh, is, he, is he made? they're trading aren't they they're trading between the two of them and uh, not making any inroads at all in fact that lead is just continuing to grow at the moment to Kipruto and that will just be giving him even more energy to, to push on. He knows he's done it, uh, he's got a clear road ahead of him and, and he can kind of relax as much as you can when you're running at the pace that he's running at here today. Well, well done for him for being patient and backing himself and realising what he was capable of and just judging it right. That's all you have to do, you just have to use your head and in conjunction with your body in the marathon. And it's your day, it's your day. And Kipruto looks strong, he looks fast. And although we're not heading for any records here today, he is somebody who has produced the right race at the right time here. He's still got a good chance of going under 2.5. I think well, that period where they just slowed a bit, I think you'll find there 158 to 27 through 40k. So he's just got over, just over 2k to go. So, yeah, he'd have to go some, but definitely a possibility to be right around the 2.5 mark, isn't he? There, thereabouts. Yeah, which is still very quick running. It's just by the measure of how much, essentially, Kipchoge, Kipchoge and others have moved forward that barometer for men's marathon racing. I mean, we talked about 20 years ago today, 20 years ago today, there was a men's world record set here in the London Marathon by Kelly Canucci and, and that was 2.5. So it's taken that long for us to say that 2.5 is actually not really a quick time. Um, but it is still a very fast time and it's the way that it's been run today. And I think 
as we've seen the way that Kipruto just judged that surge up that pull out of the underpass to perfection and just a maximum hurt time for everyone else. He was able to throw that in and crest out of it and just maintain that pace and that rhythm. So he'll get to Big Ben and that is 1,200 meters to go when he makes that turn and, and then 1,200 meters is essentially a victory, big lap into the finish. Well, we've got a wonderful view there looking down as he heads towards Big Ben. And that's a pretty good lead he's got now. There's a really good scrap going on for second, third and fourth behind him. And that's what it is though, it's a race for second, third and perhaps uh, Atano can just try and get himself latched on to Bashir Abdi, who's leading Gebra Selassie, hanging on to him at the moment, just keeps looking behind though, doesn't he? Sees his teammate just behind, and at the front, Kipruto looking so strong. He says that uh, he grew up learning about Sami Wanjiru, the Olympic champion from 2008, uh, Sadly died in uh, an accident after that, but he's the man who said who inspired me to get going. And in recent years, it's been Eli Kipchoge, of course, it has. And he runs for the same team as Eli Kipchoge and knows him well. Ran Port Kenya at the Olympics, didn't manage to finish on that occasion despite that bronze medal at the World Championships. Tricky conditions in Tokyo as well, or in Sapporo, indeed, where the Olympic marathon was held. But today, it's been very much to his liking. Just needs to keep pushing on. I mean, I know you're right, Paula. Oh, look at this. Uh, a bit of a break here from Gebre Selassie to try and get away. There you see the strap for third. Sadly, Bashir Abdi is going to be coming over the man who comes third all the time. Uh, he might be on for another third yet. Um, just needs to... Keep working hard, as, as we were saying today, on very tight legs. A lot of racing already this year and trying desperately, isn't he, Bashir Abdi in those yellow armbands to work himself back at least onto the heels of Gebris Lassi and, and then to try and surge from there and also trying to draw himself away from Matano, who's trying to, to chase him in. So a lot still to play, certainly for this second, third and fourth here at this stage, but no question, I don't think, about the man who's going to win it. The question is just how fast will he run? Well, what a day for Amos Kipruto. The Kenyans who are always wanting to come and run well here, but they were concerned that they didn't have enough guys in the race with all various dropouts but to be fair while Amos Cabrito was on the start list they had somebody who definitely had the ability to win this and I think we've shown why so many people thought certainly in the elite ranks that he might be the man to beat and he's proved to be exactly that but Oh, doesn't he? Looks so good, looks so in control, lovely running action, very economical. Great running from him. Yeah, looks serene. I mean, it's not warm here today, but he's barely sweating either, so his physiology is working so, so efficiently. All of that heat has just been wicked away and the sweat has been evaporated as fast as he's running and he's running phenomenally quickly and I think he's just taking it perhaps below that 205 barrier which is still a measure of a very quick running as we were saying and you can see in that shot down the road there are spreading across the road in that battle for second third and fourth in a way bid to to just try and maybe creep up uh, on someone without them quite expecting it I just took that <laughs> Island a little wider than he needed to. That might just rob him of the couple of seconds that he might need to run under 2.5. He's moving nicely enough. I'm not sure we'll see him sprint. And again, Gabby Selassie doing exactly the same. Uh, it doesn't really matter. A bit further back, and Anissa Michele is moving up another spot as well, but they're a long way behind second and third, and even further behind this man here. Amos Kipruto. So Kipruto will be enjoying these moments, perhaps the biggest of his career, so much so that he 
manages a bit of a wave, he's not so bothered about the clock here, he has run quicker, he's first the best second in Tokyo earlier this year, but this is his moment, this is his day, this biggest win of his career, the world bronze medalist from 2019, becomes the London Marathon Champion of 2022, and it is well inside two hours five, great performance from Amy Skipruto, looked so good for so long, and when he made the move, it was a decisive one. Trusted himself, he does look tired now for the very first time, and so he should be. But what a good performance from him. Well, Lone Gebi Selassie was not one of the more fancy, certainly of the Ethiopians who is here, but what a race from him as well. Really good performance, managing to hold off Bashir Abdi. So he takes second place, Lil Gebi Selassie. Congratulations to him. And then Abdi, third in a big race again. His two other thirds have been in the Worlds and the Olympic Games. So Atano hangs on for fourth place. And I think this is going to be Kenelisa Bekele who's going to come in next in fifth place. So another good performance. Don't forget Kenelisa Bekele, despite being one of the greatest of all time, he's 40 now and to still be running at this so fast uh, and then essentially holding on and that's oh, the ball. Ball there. That, that was your Harlo. it was it was one of those uh, sleeping policemen the, the humps in the row that we've talked about my feeling is uh, uh, very nice i'm so happy to win this race a little bit uh, stay behind uh, i feel that time uh, then uh, uh, after uh, 35 kilometer and 30, 35, 35, 37 kilometer, then a little bit uh, uh, keep going uh, fast. That's uh, uh, quickly fast uh, to win uh, for marathon. Uh, hard uh, work pay. I thank God for this uh, wonderful day. Uh, actually, I'm really happy because uh, I got the invitation for London Marathon and uh, it was my first time to be in UK, this race for London Marathon, and I, I did my best and I won. And I'm really happy. I can't explain myself because uh, to be the first in the race and won, and it is major race, actually it's... Uh, giving me morale and I know I'll come and defeat my title.